This is a pretty basic FM synthesis patch. It's a great way to learn how FM synthesis works. So you don't have to have any prior knowledge of FM synthesis. I'm going to show you how it works as we go. This synth is Dext. It's a free VST AU for Mac and PC. Link to download is in the description below. So what do we have here? Well, we got six separate oscillators, or as they call them in the FM world, operators. And they can only generate a sine wave. You can't change the waveform like you can with subtractive and wavetable synths. So how do we get interesting sounds when all we have is a sine wave to work with? Well, that's where FM comes into play. Frequency modulation. Operator two is routed so that it modulates operator one. We can't actually hear its, its audio. If I turn its level up, we won't hear another sine wave. Instead, as we increase this level, it modulates operator one more and ends up changing its tone. Listen. It makes it brighter, but it does it in a very unique FM way, in this kind of metallic stringy way. And we can change the nature of that brightness with operator two's pitch. By raising it, you'll hear that tone become more metallic and, and higher up. Listen. Now, FM synths control pitch in a bit of a different way than what you're probably used to with subtractive and wavetable synths. They use pitch ratios, which very briefly means they are multiplying the frequency of the pitch. So F equals two means we've doubled the frequency, which equates to one octave. Three means we've tripled the frequency, which equates to an octave and a fifth. And it goes up and up through this thing called a harmonic series, which you can look up. There's plenty of information on that. I'm not going to talk about it because you don't need to know it. All you need to know is that this course knob, as you raise it, it changes the nature of that brightness, makes it more metallic, makes it higher. I'm going to keep it at one right now. So it's the same pitch as operator one. Where things get interesting is when we modulate the level of this operator. So this level is its volume. As we increase its volume, it modulates operator one more. Therefore, all we need is an amp envelope to modulate this level. And that's what this is right here. So I'm going to take the sustain level right here, turn it all the way down. And I'm going to take its decay rate, which is right below. And right now it's so fast that it just jumps down. That's why there's nothing here. I'm going to slow it down. And what do we get? All right, so it's taking this level and it's shooting it down. Bow. It's creating our basic starting FM bass. Now, if you're listening closely, you kind of hear some noise in there, this crackling sound. That's just something this synth is doing. I don't think other FM synths do that so much. It might just be a small shortcoming of this synth, but hey, it's free. Uh, and you can kind of reduce it a little bit by bringing our low pass cutoff down. Just take some of the highs off. It's still kind of there, but. Okay, so that's a basic FM bass right there. Now, it modulates all the way down to zero, leaving us with a sine wave. Here we have a sine wave. But maybe you don't want that. What if you want there to be a little bit more in your sound after that attack transient? Well, you can raise that sustain level back up. Oh, yeah, maybe right there. Eh, maybe there. You get to decide exactly where it ends. And watch what happens when I raise this pitch up one octave. That might sound more familiar. This is a very sort of modern approach to FM bass. It's nice that it's simple. Maybe I don't want it to be as bright. There we go. All right, so that's our first FM bass, kind of modern sounding, real basic approach. I want to show you one more approach, a more complex approach that's going to get us more of like a classic sort of 80s style FM bass. This isn't your ordinary synth tutorial. This is Synthorio, making programming synths easy with video game-like training, teaching you how to program synth patches by ear. 
Each lesson starts with a demonstration, then an interactive challenge with over 200 lessons. Once you complete the program, you'll be able to create the sounds you hear using almost any synthesizer. Try the award-winning Centorial today. I'm gonna remove this uh, modulation here. Go back down to same pitch as operator one. And I'm just gonna use this to get our timbre. I wanna get kind of like an electric bass, like a, you know, an actual string electric bass tone. Yeah, maybe there. And if you wanna get rid of those pops and clicks, put a little bit of an attack on operator one. That's not bad. About. And then the release as well. We want to add a little bit of a release. Okay. Now, I want to take operator three and modulate operator one with that as well. Use that to create our attack transient. Because I'm missing that at the beginning, right? It's just kind of a muted sound. Now, you could stick with this if you just wanted this like kind of simple, plain electric bass tone. It's perfect. But I want some attack trains down there. And I'm kind of going for that more classic sounding FM bass. Problem is, is by default right now, operator two is modulating operator one, but three is not operating modulator one. That's where we come down here to the routing of an FM synth. So the way they do it in Dext is the operator numbers that are on the bottom row are the ones we can actually hear. So we can hear one, we can also hear three. And then up from top, we have a sort of cascading modulation. So two modulates one. Six modulates five, modulates four, modulates three. We don't need all that. I need two and three to both be modulating operator one. So I'm going to change the algorithm. There's a lot of them. The one I found was right around here. Two, three, and five are all modulating operator one. I don't need five, but I got what I want out of this. Two and three. Okay, so right now we still just have two uh, modulating operator one. I'm going to increase three and use the amp envelope to create an attack transient. Just like we did before. Let's go up to two. Doesn't quite sound like it did when we were using this operator, right? Because now we have two operators modulating operator one, so it's going to change the nature. They're going to kind of interact in an interesting way. I'm going to go up to seven now. Now what do we got? Let's go a little faster. Back off on this a little bit. There we go. And maybe ease off here. There it is. A little bit more of a classic sounding FM bass. And of course I could try other pitches. So there you have it. And as you can see, I mean, it's, there's a million ways you can create an FM bass with an FM synth, all with varying tones. Let me show you one example that came with the presets, FM bass. This uses all six operators. Different routing here, so we're actually hearing one and three. They're sort of layering two sounds together and using the other operators to create the tones for each of those. All right, so there is a patch challenge over on our forum, centorialcom slash forum. Go there, and I want to hear your take on FM bass. Download Dext or use whatever synth you have, and then post your patch there and talk about it a little bit. I wanna hear what you can do. And while you're at that forum, you can also create new topics and request other patches. So if there's a particular patch from a song you wanna know how to make, post there, and I or someone else will help you make that patch. And of course, subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more videos like this.